Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. It's been a while, sorry about that. I've just been doing other things and hopefully, I know I've said this before, I'll get back into a regular pattern and get videos uploaded. Now today we'll be taking a look at the 538 polling averages in the key swing states. Now, these are very interesting as they take into account a lot more polls than Real Clear Politics does and it has some pretty interesting results to say the least. Uh, some of these polls I disagree with, I don't think these states will have this bigger margin come election day, but I do think that they are very interesting to look at nonetheless. Now we're going to be taking a look at the electoral map if the polls dictated it. These polls, oh, sorry, these polls right here. Now what I'm going to do is actually what if I get like a oh, it doesn't matter actually I would do that I was gonna make him a different color the swing state so that we could look at that separately but we can't so let's just take a look at them and let's say like Colorado let's take a look at Colorado that's at the top plus 17 margin for Joe Biden that makes it a safe state which is very surprising considering in 2004-2008 I'm pretty sure it was either Republican or competitive and it slowly drifted to the left in the recent elections however will it be a plus 17 margin in come election day definitely not uh, but it is very interesting to see Colorado polling further to the left than New Mexico as I really thought New Mexico would be the first to go safe out of the Clinton states which are the states she won in 2016 uh, which basically guaranteed for Biden in this election maybe except Nevada or Minnesota but pretty much secure uh, the state of Maine Maine's all polled at once I don't think there's second district information so we'll just do the entirety of Maine as one it's plus 13 and a half that makes it likely and that's not too surprising I think Maine will be uh, a likely margin for uh, Maine at large uh, will be a likely margin for Joe Biden. Uh, Maine second, different story, probably going to Trump, I reckon. Uh, but we'll do Maine as a whole state, as that's how it's polled. Um, uh, but I do think Maine second district will actually go to Donald Trump come election day. But I can't really put that here because we're doing it based on the polls, and this is what the polls have. So in the key swing states. Now the next state is New Mexico, which I really thought would have been f uh, again further to the left than Colorado. I do think it will be like a 10 point lead for Joe Biden in the state of New Mexico, give or take a couple percent. Uh, this Colorado probably around 8 I predict, but it's very surprising to see this as I do think New Mexico will vote to the left of Colorado in the election day. Um, so the polls are very very interesting for this part of the country um, let's take a look at Virginia Virginia the next secure swing state 10.6 points in favor uh, the polls and very clear politics I think have it as an average of 9.7 so obviously 538 are either including more polls or uh, have different polls allowed let's just take a look at Virginia on real clear politics if it loads yeah 9.7 so 538 are clearly using different polls um, but still a 10.6 lead and this is a state that was very competitive back in the day and it was a republican bastion in the region almost uh, but has slowly but surely drifted to the left and especially with Joe Biden being an establishmentarian uh, Virginia is pretty much going to be a likely margin but above 10 points very well could be if everything goes right for Biden but I'm predicting around 8-9 points in favor of Joe Biden in this election um, now let's take a look at the next state which is surprisingly the state of Michigan all these states up here by the way voting to the left of the predicted national average um, of 9.2 which is just getting larger and larger I think what's the Is that here? Oh, it's here. Sorry. I know it's somewhere. If you take a look at this, 
Let's wait for this to load. Okay, all right. Oh, there we go. It's just getting better and better for Joe Biden, as he's actually predicted to get the popular vote, and he hasn't had uh, a gap of 8.1 points since he got 9/10 over here in November last year. But yeah, it's really how I actually get a majority in the popular vote, which is very surprising. Donald Trump keeps dipping and dipping. Uh, it will come to a point where Joe Biden has so much of the popular vote, he just wins the Electoral College pretty much. But yeah, the next state is, as I said, very surprising. It's the state of Michigan with 10.2 points in favor of Joe Biden, making that a likely state. Do I think it will be likely in the election? No, not a chance. It is a Democrat state. It is the most likely out of the Rust Belt states to go blue. But do I think it will go likely? Not a chance. It will probably be, be, be between 1 and 5. If Trump wins it, probably by a tilt. If Biden wins it, probably could get over 1, maybe 2 or 3. If everything goes well, but over 5, not a chance. I would never predict put any of these states as uh, likely. Uh, that being Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, Minnesota. Uh, these three, sorry. Not Minnesota. I could put that uh, likely blue. But say in Michigan... I definitely wouldn't put it in the likely column like LTE did uh, in my if I was if this was a prediction but it's definitely getting closer to there and I wouldn't have the polls probably wouldn't have had it here if that was the case and a 10 point margin is a very very big margin I'm pretty sure Hillary led by about 10 points in this state at one point as well but the last two weeks basically flipped it for Trump so Michigan sort of it's surprise not very surprising that's around this point because for Hillary it was if you go to Michigan <coughs> sorry about that and then go to oh it's oh yeah here's a yeah well it's not loading it's being slow but uh, it's it was around this margin for Hillary Clinton so it will probably dip back down close to election day as I expect it should do uh, because Michigan isn't going to be likely either way not in this election I know Biden does resonate with these voters more but not enough Donald Trump is still a good candidate for the, for the Republican Party anyway um, it's definitely a candidate who could beat Biden like he's probably one of the better Republicans to pick to do that because Hillary Clinton got kind of uh, she wasn't ready for a Trump candidate she just wasn't and it came on and she was basically scuppered because she couldn't she wasn't ready for it uh, national average it has Joe Biden holding the popular vote which is very good for his mandate to uh, govern the country and it's a pretty substantial margin which in that, that in itself gives him a good mandate for it as well uh, now surprisingly the next state is Nevada with an 8 point lead and I don't think it would be likely in the election Nevada is a state that will probably vote to the right of the Colorado, New Mexico and Virginia so I agree with the polls on that will it be such a substantial margin? Probably not uh, a lot of Latinos if Joe Biden can resonate with them and get them to come out for him a lot of Bernie supporters in Nevada uh, Bernie appeals to Latinos quite a bit as shown in the primaries in these states he definitely could but I don't think he'll do that well enough and I don't think he'll put enough time into Nevada to get that type of turnout but he'll definitely pick up the state by probably a lean margin in my opinion um, but yeah the next state is New Hampshire which has a 7.7 .7 lead for uh, Joe Biden which makes that likely uh, New Hampshire is an interesting one I think it will be a lean one I don't think it will slip away from either candidate by that bigger margin I do, I do think it's out of Trump's reach though in this election at the moment I do think he should focus his resources the other way in especially the Rust Belt Nevada that's more probable to flip than New Hampshire in my opinion uh, North Carolina Georgia he has to try and hold on to everything he won to get the election essentially except maybe losing one of the Rust Belt states but Nevada, uh, New Hampshire, sorry, is kind of slipping from his grasp a little bit, as shown by the polling data. Um, so he's definitely going to have to work hard if he wants to win that over. 
Uh, the next is the state of Florida, which is another surprising state with a 6.9 margin, which I never thought Florida would go this far either way in polls. I didn't think, because Florida is a state that even when Obama won a landslide victory against John McCain, it was still only a three-point margin in Florida. Florida will always be a close state. It will never get past the three-point for four, four point mark it will never get into likely it will be lean either way but the polls have him up by 6.9 will that happen no not a chance uh yeah see here clinton was leading by around nine points um obviously that's a lot later on but she was leading leading by 11 and it all dipped back down but that's not important anymore it's the state of florida which 6.9 that's not gonna happen for either candidate in fact uh, it will probably be below two points either way in my opinion it could get into the lean column I do think it definitely could either way uh, but it's probably one of the biggest toss-ups in this election along with North Carolina I feel like they'll both go together if one goes for Trump the other one will go for Trump I feel like that'll be the case in this election uh, in reality um, but Florida will always be competitive. It will not be a 6.9 margin. Uh, it's a very, very, just surprising. And also, Minnesota, 6.6. .6. Florida is, by the polling data, further to the left than Minnesota, a state that went for Hillary Clinton. Uh, Minnesota, a state that went for Hillary Clinton, is further to the right than Florida, a state which went for Trump. That's how surprising some of this polling data is. Um, then you look at Wisconsin, 6.6 .6 tied with the Minnesota. Again, Wisconsin went for Trump, and it's a likely margin equal with Minnesota for Joe Biden. Look at all these likely states. Realistically, and I hope it does, otherwise polling data is to never be trusted again. This all slims down. Colorado calms down, because it's not going to be a 17-point margin. Uh, Michigan calms down. <laughs> I could see the national average being quite high, but it was around this point for Hillary, so it will definitely be close. Uh, what's next? It is the state of Pennsylvania, which is another surprising state for different reasons. Now, Pennsylvania is likely with all the other Rust Belt states. However, Pennsylvania is actually the closest state in polling data 5.3, Wisconsin 6.6, .6, Michigan 10.2. So, Pennsylvania, the state them, uh, they claim is his birth state, it's his home state, he'll have a boost there. He's actually the lowest in out of the Rust Belt states. And I was surprised by this. I thought Wisconsin would be. Wisconsin's the most conservative one. But Pennsylvania definitely could go to Trump. And it's more competitive than people make out. Michigan less so, as shown by the polling data. I do think it will go to Joe Biden by a pretty big margin. Um, and Pennsylvania is competitive, like it's not a state to be left. Because remember, granted it's a, uh, uh, um, sorry, words, a margin of error of 4.5, so that still gives it to Joe Biden. But still, it's a very slim margin, and Pennsylvania is a state that shouldn't be just guaranteed in favour of Biden. It should be looked at. These Rust Belt states need to be visited a lot. They are competitive. Trump could pick them up. They need to realise that and they need to go to them. They are not secure for Joe Biden by any means. He shouldn't be focusing on Georgia. He shouldn't be focusing on Texas. He should spend a little time there, but not a lot. He should go to the Rust Belt states and not count them out. Otherwise, he's going to lose them, like Hillary did, and he's going to regret it. Now, the state of Arizona is actually the first lean state. I actually agree with this. Not on the full point margin, but the lean characterization. I do believe Arizona will be a Dem state, it's trending to the left, Democratic Senator, probably going to have a Democratic Senator in 2020, uh, they have five of the nine House seats, I'm pretty sure they won the popular vote in the midterms, although that isn't apparent for the actual election, obviously there's different turnout rates, although they were very similar in 2018, it was a lot more Dem turnout than Republican turnout, so that is the case for the blue wave. Um, Arizona probably between one and three points. I don't think it will go by four, as it has just flipped. Like, uh, but it will certainly 
go to the Dems. Almost guaranteed, but again, Biden will need to spend time there. He will need to get the Latinos to come out, and he will need to get them out. Especially John McCain and Mitt Romney voters, if he can pull them over, Arizona is pretty much secured for him. Especially if Mitt Romney endorses him, a state like Utah would probably go to likely uh, for Joe Biden. Obviously, that's not a big thing, but Arizona would probably probably get a pretty higher margin, but still in the lean by Mitt Romney's endorsion, I think that's the word. Uh, now, next is the state of North Carolina, plus three in favor of Joe Biden, which makes it a lean. Now, North Carolina is a tough state to flip, and you basically need to drive up African-American turnout with all of, in that state, it's 22% African-American. Obama did that very well in 2008, however, it was a landslide year, so whether you can count that as a him thing or a John McCain thing, that's a different question. But North Carolina is a tough state to flip, though I think it will flip. It's prob probable they will. I think Joe Biden is the best car best candidate for trying to flip the state of North Carolina, in my opinion, out, out of him and Bernie Sanders, and Elizabeth Warren, and Klobuchar, but I still think it might go to Donald Trump, though. Uh, if it does go to Biden, it will be a tilt margin. If it goes to Trump, it could get lean, but probably tilt. I'd say 0 0.8, 0 0.9 in favor of Trump, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 in favor of Biden. Uh, but lean characterization, it's surprising. It's shocking that it's up so high. But it will probably change as we get closer to election day. Debates happen. They both get their um, boosts from their conventions and all that. Alright, next is actually the state of Ohio, which has a plus 2.7 margin for Joe Biden, putting that in the lean column. Now, Ohio went to Donald Trump by, I'm pretty sure, around 9 points. Or it was either 6 or 9 points, I can't actually remember. But, it's 18 electoral votes, it's voted with the president every single election for about 60 years, I'm pretty sure. Uh, this By this characterization, it would be still as Trump hasn't gained any uh, likely lean or tilt states in this election so far which would be absolutely disastrous for the Republicans would it happen? Not a chance Ohio is going to Donald Trump polling data here is clearly wrong or they've just sampled it on certain people and they've happened to all be Dems or there's something wrong with the polling data it's not trustworthy because Ohio is going red, probably it could even be a likely margin. I'd characterize it as lean for now, but as Trump recovers from the election, gets a convention boost and all that, I do think it will go back to likely Republican, and it will probably trend to the left. And in two elections, it probably could be safe for the Republicans, in my opinion. It be be similar to Indiana. Uh, Iowa definitely could follow suit with the states of North Dakota. They're pretty agri agricultural and it could follow suit. Next is the state of Georgia which is plus one in favor of uh, Joe Biden. I'll put it in the uh, tilt column because it's plus one there are no other tilt ones so I'll just put it in the tilt so there is a tilt. Um, Georgia I'd, I'm surprised it's below Ohio because Ohio is almost guaranteed to go for Donald Trump. Georgia could go to Biden if everything goes wrong for Trump, but I do believe. But I do believe. Sorry about that. Uh, it will go to Trump, and it, it will probably be around three, four points in this election. Stacey Abrams maybe two, but it will still go to Trump, and the polls having him up, and and the fact that they think Ohio is further to the left of Georgia is very surprising, and it's very unrealistic. Ohio is going to Trump. Georgia is going to Trump. North Carolina could be argued as going to Trump, uh, but yeah, that's those states. Next is the state of Iowa, which actually goes to uh, Donald Trump by 0.6%, which, considering he won it by 9.5, a 0 0.6 margin is nothing, and again, a scenario like this to happen would have to be absolute disaster for Donald Trump, the election would have to be out tomorrow, because obviously with debates and everything and rallies, Donald Trump definitely could come back from this, uh, he's not doomed, he can win the election still, 
he could surprise everyone. I think he very well could do because polls th at this point aren't always the best and with everything that's going on obviously the Trump administration it's to blame as he is in charge of the country they have to take responsibility that does not mean he is doomed he could definitely still win a lot of people don't like to hear that but he could win the election definitely could win the election could he gain more states than he did in 2016 probably not could he hold on yes will he lose it will he get lower electoral points probably but that doesn't mean he's doomed. He could definitely win. Joe Biden could definitely win. Um, I'm trying not to be biased here. Obviously, I can't hear because his polling data I haven't done. So, I, I, I need to let it be known that both sides could win. And Trump is a good talker. I will give him that. He could definitely talk his way out of this. And I do believe he could. Next is the state of Texas, which is minus 0 0.7. Which is another quite surprising state that's by a tilt margin um in the election i reckon it will be a lean margin probably by two three points so it's pretty similar to the 2018 midterm senate election uh, but the fact that texas is the most right-leaning state between ohio iowa and texas is surprising because texas as it may seem as a republican bastion ohio and iowa were trump states by bigger margins than texas in 2016 and I definitely do think that Ohio and, and Iowa will go to the Republicans more than Texas will uh, the same with Georgia almost like Georgia and Texas are pretty similar in my opinion um, they'll get around the same margins but Ohio, uh, uh, Ohio and Iowa I think will vote to the right of Texas um, in my opinion and I do believe that Texas is more secure than a tilt margin and if it is a tilt margin in this election then Rep the Democrats could win it in 2024 and at that point Republicans are doomed uh, watch my uh, video on why this is the case in the, it'll be uh, on my channel page in the election playlist if you just want to take a look but yeah this is the electoral map by the polls on 538 at the moment uh, very very bad news for Donald Trump some of this stuff I don't trust hinting Ohio Georgia Texas Iowa I don't trust those ones I don't trust likely margins in these states however at this point in the election Hillary Clinton also had those margins but it will slim down Florida as well uh, it will slim down uh, Colorado <laughs> and it will become more realistic thankfully um, I just hope that the Biden supporters aren't discouraged by like they don't go out to vote because that's the thing with these polls is a poll CNN poll obviously left leaning probably not to trust almost definitely not had buying up by 14 points nationwide now that may look bad for Trump however that actually helps Trump because it would be it would dissuade voters from coming at all uh, Biden's gonna win anyway. Why does he need my vote? Why does he need my vote? It's what happened with Brexit in the UK. Where Remainers didn't come out to vote, and because they thought it was gonna get voted down, and then suddenly, oh wait, I should have voted. So if anything, that's what's gonna happen if these polls keep coming out. However, I do think nationally, it will uh, slim down. Uh, it, Trump will definitely need to recover if he, hopefully if he gets a convention boost it can become more competitive but yeah at the moment it's looking pretty solid for Joe Biden anyway thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe um, leave any comment suggestions for future videos you'd like to see uh, so thank you guys so much for watching take care and goodbye